this is Yuli from FreeDailyExercise.com and I wanted to actually make a video for you today. Um, we are talking about week five. So if you made it this far, congratulations. Unfortunately for me, I ended up getting sick um, for uh, these exercises. So from day one of week five, all the way to day three, I was just not well at all. And um, even yesterday, I kind of felt, uh. so I came down here with the intention that I was going to work out today because I'm feeling a little more energetic. But by the time I came down here and I was about to do the exercises and I was trying to set up, I just, I, you know, I didn't feel good. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to make a video instead. <laughs> so. Um, I'm going to start my exercise for day one of week five this Saturday, so you're more than welcome to join me. Um, if not, if you've already gone through the week and you've already done these exercises, I commend you. Um, you're going to notice that there's a delay in my weekly uh, exercise uh, posting because I'm, I delayed a week, okay, because I was sick. All right, so week five, I'm going to talk about the exercises that I have listed here. So for day one, it's basically Diamond Stack OA4. We did Diamond Stack num uh, in my prior, in, in week four, we did a, a Diamond Stack routine. Um, but this is a little different. This is an older version. And this is actually, OA basically stands for overall and number four. So I had like four different versions of overall exercises for Diamond Stack in my older blog post. So I just carry this one over because I, I do like this. So um, this one you do, you are, I recommend that you have a sandbag and a dip station for this. If you don't have it, you can modify the workout and do body weight workout, not a problem, okay? Uh, just go, just click on the, the link within the blog for day one and you'll see the, um, the details for this. Um, day one also has a bonus exercise again for week five and that's actually, um, number 15 video on my uh, free daily exercise that I uploaded. So it's kicks to go and it's basically a five minute workout. You know, just, you can do this on day one or you can do it on any days or every day if you want to. It's a, it's a very short program. Um, day two is number 21 exercise. It's a freedom or fight for freedom exercise. And this one, if you are a beginner, you want to do the time challenge version. Just again, click on the link and go to the details of the exercise and you see um, there's two different versions of it, okay? Uh, for beginners, intermediates, and advanced. Now for intermediates and advanced, you can do the uh, maximum rep version of it. But for advanced folks, you're going to go through it twice. So uh, it's a little longer. Or if you are intermediate and you feel like you can do it two rounds, you have plenty of time, whatever, do, do two rounds. Um, and even for advanced folks, if you're cut for, for time, just do one round. I mean, it's, it, it doesn't have to be, okay, set that way. Um, if, you, if time is a factor, just do one round. If time is not a factor, do two rounds, okay? Um, and this one is basically, uh, martial art inspired, so you're working the techniques. So for the maximum rep uh, exercise, intermediate and advanced folks, um, the interval timer set is a little different because you're doing 20 rounds of 15 seconds rest and 60 seconds of work time. So it's a little different from the normal maximum rep. But anyway, the details there, take a look, try it out, have a good workout with that one. Day three is uh, gym at home. And there are two parts to this exercise as well. I'm doing a lot of two parts workouts uh, this week. So this is basically, the first one is a time challenge and you're gonna need a sandbag and a dip station. If you, again, if you don't have a sandbag or a dip station, don't worry about it. You just do free um, body weight, okay? Um, and the modification, I'm, I'm pretty sure I talk about it or list them out in the uh, in the blog site. So go to the details of that one. Um, the second part is a cardio finish. So you're gonna need a jump rope. If you don't have a jump rope, you can just jump it, you know, jump without the rope, just fake it, okay? Just fake it, fake it, fake it. Um, not a big deal, okay? Um, <coughs> wow. So that's that. Day four 
is the batteries not included maximum rep workout and that's one of my my original one not the set the part two this is the original one which only has three exercises and it's all body weight okay so uh no worries there and then the last one day five is the power in you exercise and that's a time challenge and you uh, basically do need some free weights for this one uh, a dumbbell or a resistance band okay um and like and a sandbag if you have a sandbag to do the drag and pull the push-up so that's it guys um day five is i'm sorry week five was kind of a a bit of a challenge for me because of the the recent snowstorm that we had here i ended up getting sick immediately after um shoveling all that lovely snow the fluffy stuff um but i ended up getting sick so it happens sometimes so if you're feeling sick i you know i i don't recommend i used to uh work out even though i felt sick and i made myself sicker and the recovery time took longer so i've gotten wiser about that nowadays um because i don't want to stay sick so it used to take me weeks, couple weeks to recover from that. And now it's just, you know, because I rested and didn't want to take any chances, even though three days still is a long time to recover, but um, I'm, I'm feeling much better. So I think giving it a couple more days will be, will be, um, will bring me up to par. So, okay, that's it guys. I hope you have a great week five. I hope you start with me on Saturday. That's when I'm gonna start day one of any exercises. So. That's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Freedailyexercise.com. Get it done at home.